Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear student. My name is Dr. Muhammad Adnan Asghar and uh, today the topic of our discussion is synthesis and design of inorganic materials under the subject of advanced inorganic material chemistry. Dear student, I have already talked to you people that there are so many ways to design and synthesize the inorganic materials. Some of the uh, renowned one was the uh, solid state reactions and low temperature or chymidose methods, gas phase methods, high pressure methods and crystal growth methods. And in previous lectures we have already discussed the solid state reactions or shake and bake methods. In this method uh, we have discussed some of the details uh, including the manufacturing of magnesium oxide and aluminium oxide materials along with the different uh, strategies to prepare the product layers of different compounds and moreover we also discussed the practical considerations and uh, uh, we also studied some of the um, renowned examples of solid state reactions. While in practical concentrations we have studied about the starting materials and uh, mixing of reactants as well as container uh, firing schedule. Among them uh, the, all the uh, uh, among them uh, container is supposed to be the more important one because if the container is uh, have little affinity for the reactant mixture then it would be not possible to get the desired product moreover uh, mixing of reactant is also an important technique and uh, moreover the firing schedule is also play quite important role for the exact synthesis of inorganic compounds here is the some examples that we have discussed already in details and we have discussed the uh, some of the renowned problems while uh, uh, synthesizing these compounds and we have also discussed the possible solutions to overcome these problems in detail. We have also studied some of the combustion synthesis that uh, most of the renowned ferrite used for the synthesis of ferrite compounds and uh, we also study mechanosynthesis. Now the second one is the low temperature or Kamidos method. It, the greatest drawback of solid state reactions including mechanosynthesis. It is that reactants are not mixed on an atomic scale. There are various methods to achieve atomic scale mixing of reactants in gas, liquid or even solid phases. Most are low temperature methods often referred to as chemidose or soft chemistry methods. So we can say this is also the soft chemistry methods. Although final firing at high temperature may be needed especially in the case of ceramic materials so uh, consequently uh, greater purity may be attainable especially if uh, prolonged heating at high temperature can be avoided since this is a frequent source of contamination from container materials and furnace atmosphere more importantly and surprisingly Products with high chemical homogeneity are usually obtained which often leads to improved properties or better understanding of dependencies of properties on structure as well as composition and dopants. It is also possible to use non-powder feedstock to produce materials in a variety of forms such as fiber or coatings. 
disadvantages uh, of these alternative methods are that often the reagents are costly and difficult to handle on a large scale so considerable research may be required to optimize the synthesis of a particular material and uh, once suitable condition have been found it may not be readily applicable to the uh, synthesis of related materials for those reasons solid state reactions which are relatively quick and uh, easy and versatile also are usually tired first next some chemidose methods and their applications uh, are going to be discussed first one is actually alk oxide sol gel method the first stage is to prepare a homogeneous solution containing all the cationic ingredients in the desired ratio the solution is gradually dried and depending on the species present should transform to a viscous sol containing particles of colloidal dimensions and finally to a transparent homogeneous amorphous solid known as gel without precipitation of any crystalline phases the gel is then actually fired at high temperatures to remove the volatile components trapped in the pores of the gel are chemically bonded hydroxyl and organic side groups to crystallize the final product as we have discussed previously in the start of this lecture this is actually a low temperature method but we need to provide at least a firing range at the end of the reaction this would be sometime helpful to uh, remove the volatile components which may be trapped in the pores of the gel or chemically bonded sometime there is a chemical bond between hydroxyl and organic side groups so the high temperature Uh, fired firing is usually needed at the end of this low temperature reactions there are uh, two main uh, types of sol gel methods materials and applications the first one is organometallics precursors particularly alkoxides are widely used for small scale synthesis of known or new materials often containing several different cations the reagents for alk oxide based sol gel synthesis are metal organic compounds such as peos which is the tetraethyl ortosilicate as well as Uh, as a, uh, this will act as a source of sulfur di uh, silicon dioxide while titanium isopropoxide as a source of titanium oxide and we can also use aluminum butoxide as a source of aluminum oxide al2o3 these covalent liquids are actually mixed in appropriate ratios often with an alcohol to promote miscibility of the alk oxide and water and water is believed to be a key reagent since uh, it hydrolyzes the alk oxide usually in the presence of either acid or base as a catalyst to speed up the reactions hydrolysis actually occurs in two steps number 1 is the replacement of or groups by hydroxyl group for example uh, this is the 
टेट्रा इथाइल और धूसिलिकेट इट विल शिफ्ट इन टू टेट्रा ट्राई और ट्राई इथाइल और दो सिलिकेट विद हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप सो कंडेंसेशन पोलिमराइजेशन विच लीड्स टू द रिमूवल ऑफ वाटर मालिक्यूल एंड हेयर वी कैन सी दिस इज एक्चुअली द कंडेंसेशन एंड विद कंडेंसेशन पोलिमराइजेशन एंड विद द एलिमिनेशन ऑफ वाटर मालिक्यूल द कंपोजिशन स्ट्रक्चर एंड विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ द रिएक्शन प्रोडक्ट्स डिपेंड वेरी मच ऑन द डिग्री ऑफ हाइड्रोलाइस विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कंडेंसेशन दैट इज केयरफुल कंट्रोल ऑफ रिएक्शन वेरिएबल्स इज प्रिटी मच रिक्वायर्ड टू अचीव द डिजायर्ड प्रोडक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर द सेंथिस ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑक्साइड्स containing more than one cation m m dash cross condensation is required here in this picture we can here in this uh, equation we can see that and it is quite essential to achieve this instead of condensation of components separately hydrolysis may be base catalyzed and uh, with nucleophilic substitution of oh negative or sometime acid catalyzed here we can see that with electrophilic attack by h positive or sometime hydronium ion the final stage is to heat or calcine the gel to decompose organic matter and leave an oxide product so the thing which we discussed in the starting of the lecture is again and again in front of us this is actually the low temperature method for the synthesis of inorganic compounds but we should have to provide the firing or high temperature uh, to the made for the uh, attaining of major product it would be needed to remove the some of the volatile components and some of the organic components may be adsorbed or absorbed on the pores of the product so it would be uh, more important to remove these kind of impurities from our final product sometime hydroxyl group may form a sort of bonding with the Uh, starting material and sometimes the by products so high temperature would be important to break this kind of bonding and subsequently leave a quite pure compound for property for the study of different properties now let's talk about the synthesis of magnesium aluminum oxide appropriate reagents are magnesium oh3 twice and aluminum os butyl 3 on mixing or hydrolysis condensation and drying an amorphous gel is obtained that decomposes to form a very fine particles of spinel after final heating at about 250 degrees celsius this compares very favor favorably in energy terms and with solid state reaction with particularly which particularly uh, requires heating for several days at about 1500 degrees celsius but the alkoxy reagents are quite expensive and uh, it also have hygroscopic properties and so it is quite difficult to use if it uh, if it is have a hygroscopic property it have ability to absorb some of the moisture present in the atmosphere so it is quite difficult to use that kind of material for the 
synthesis of inorganic compounds or we need to provide the inert mediums that have free of free from the water vapors and free from the any kind of moisture in surrounding so that reaction would proceed properly the next is the synthesis of silica glass pure silica is uh, actually is pure silica glass is difficult and uh, expensive to prepare by traditional melting because molten silf, sil, uh, silicon dioxide is extremely viscous even at 2000 degree celsius the melting point of silicon dioxide is actually around about 1700 degree celsius starting from teos it is uh, teos was actually tetra ethyl ortho silicate if we start from tetra ethyl ortho silicate it is possible by a sole gel route to prepare an amorphous product with all to all intents and purposes resembles silica glass but has never been heated above 1200 degree celsius both silica glass and this amorphous silica look alike are metastable and care is required to avoid some crystallization at the final processing temperature of 1200 degree celsius the next is spinning of alumina fibers we normally encounter aluminum oxide al2o3 as a powder or as a ceramic by sole gel route it can be prepared as fibers which uh, under the trade name safel are somehow used as a thermal insulation and it have a capability to replace the renowned thermal uh, mat uh, insulation material which is the asbestos actually the starting material the starting material is alobu3 to produce fibers uh it is somehow crucial to control the viscosity at the stage of drying fibers and polymers intermediates should be linear rather than branched chain acid catalysis is used since uh, base catalysis tends to give three dimensional polymers with beds catalysis there is an increase in the rate of substitution of or by hydroxyl group in this with each additional hydroxyl group hydroxyl group which is actually electron withdrawing the silicon carries an inter increasing partial positive charge and it is more susceptible to further nucleophilic attack by hydroxyl group this actually leads to a higher concentration of silicon atoms containing several several hydroxyl groups and uh, therefore a high concentration of silanol which is act actually sioh groups that leads to cross linked structure on condensation polymerization well if we talk about the base uh, catalysis then uh, there is an increase in the rate of substitution of uh, or group by hydroxyl groups uh, with each additional oh group which is actually electron withdrawing group if this happen the silicon carries an increasing partial positive charge and it is supposed to be more susceptible to the further nucleophilic attack by hydroxyl ion 
This actually leads to the higher concentration of silicon atoms containing several hydroxyl groups and therefore a high concentration of silanol groups that actually leads to cross-linked structures on condensation polymerization. The next is the preparation of indium tin oxide which is ITO and other coatings. Semiconducting indium tin oxide which is ITO is widely used as an electrode especially as a thin film coatings. It is used as a coating on glass for energy control of building since it transmits visible light and reflects infrared radiation. The coatings are prepared by sole gel method starting from indium and tin alkoxide. A thin film is poured onto the substrate and uh, alternatively the substrate is actually dipped into the liquid precursor mixture. The coating is then processed in situ giving finally an amorphous thin transparent adherent layer. Other coatings prepared in this way include which is the TA2O5 on silicon TA2O5 is an insulator and uh, is used in TA2O5 SI silicon capacitors. The second one is SiO2 and TiO2 on silicon wafers. The refractive index depends on TiO2 content as well as on SiO2, TiO2 anti-reflective coatings are somehow used to increase the efficiency of silicon solar cells. A major concern is preparing coating is, uh, is to control the uh, drying conditions such as the coatings remains crack free and adherent. Generally speaking, a large reduction in volume occurs on drying. Sometimes it would lead to the actually decomposition of gel. This is actually because of its high content of water and other volatilities there may be many volatile components which are embedded which may be embedded in the gel pores and uh, if we increase the temperature this will actually leads and uh, leads to the drying and uh, hence it will definitely reduce the volume thin coatings are better able to sustain these losses and retain their integrity then a thick coating or bulk samples which could be expensive uh, which could be expensive and uh, we can experience large tensile stresses as a result of differential drying and shrinkage rates in bulk at the surfaces the next one is fabrication of uh, why SZ ceramics. YSZ actually stand for Yatria Stabilized Zirconia. It is an important oxide ion conducting ceramics used in gas sensors. It is also used as sol solid oxide fuels and it is also used as a solid fuel in fuel cells. It can be prepared by simple sole gel method starting from YOCH2CA2CH3 thrice and zirconium tetraorthosilicates. So this would be the discussion about the fabrication of yet re-stabilized zirconia.
and uh, we are discussing about the low temperature synthesis processes of inorganic compounds uh, we will continue the rest of the examples and the techniques used under this subject uh, in next lecture thank you very much